I'm a massive, massive fan of tools, applications, and services that can ease my life, make it frictionless, and also just speed up my productivity. Today, we're gonna to take a look at an application that I came across very recently that I've kind of fallen in love with, and this is definitely up there with my everyday use tools. It's an application called Eagle. It's available for the Mac and the PC, and basically what it is, is a media manager. Now, I know you may be thinking that's not particularly exciting. However, the way it's integrated into your browser, your operating system, and how you can connect it up to any kind of cloud service. For example, I use pCloud, and I can synchronize that media library across all my devices pretty much instantly. If that doesn't get you excited, well, you're a little bit dead inside, I think. So let's take a look at Eagle and some of the reasons why I absolutely love this application. So first of all, let's just quickly take a look at the Eagle website so you can kind of get a little bit of a feel for it and I'll show you the pricing so there's no shocks. So first of all, you can see that it is a media manager and if we scroll through the options, you can see there's a range of different ways in which you can organize your data. The nice thing with this though is you can integrate this with images, fonts, videos that you have on YouTube or Vimeo. There's tons and tons of ways in which you can use this to go beyond just simple organization. It's got browser add-ons or extensions so you can easily integrate this into your everyday browsing lifestyle. Let's take a quick look at some of those options. You can see we can browse extension with the browser, we've got video bookmarks, we can deal with screenshots, we can drag and drop and we can also use it with our clipboard. So we can organize things in a multitude of different ways. Now before we go any further let's just take a quick look at the pricing so like I said you don't get any shocks because the nice thing is it is incredibly cost effective. Now I know price is always relative however $30 for two seats is pretty good. And if you want to add extra seats on, basically extra computers you want to access this on, I think it works out around about $14 for the life. The other thing is if you give them a review or feedback, you have the potential to also get an additional license. So if you like what you see and you share it and you have more than just two computers, you can do that and save yourself 15 bucks, which is quite nice, but only do it if you actually like the application. Okay, so now we've seen all of the kind of things on the website, let's just jump into the actual application itself and let me just quickly show you how you can start using it. Now, I've already really started using this over the last couple of days to kind of look at how I want to use it and get it organized without just rushing in, just dumping everything inside you and then kind of just getting lost and frustrated with it. So if we take a quick look, on the left-hand side, you can see we've got some basic things, like we can view all the media we have, videos, fonts, images, everything. So that's your entire library. You can go into anything that's uncategorized, so you can very quickly and easily just categorize that by simply dragging that into any of the folders you want. So for example, I can drag this from here, I can drop that into my thumbnails, for example, and that's now inserted in. It's taken out of being uncategorized, and if we go in, you can see there is the actual image, and I can zoom in and see the image in more detail. If I select the image, you can see on the right-hand side, I can now go and add tags to it. I can see what title or file name it's got. If I want to, I can also drop a link inside here. So you may be using this to organize things that you grab from places like Invato Elements or Adobe Stock. Well, what you can do is you can drop the link inside there so you can have a low resolution version or a screen grab or something, and then you can link back to that so you can go and find it whenever you need it, which makes, like I said, the whole organization thing incredibly quick and easy. You can add notes to this. You can add it into multiple folders if you want to. You can add ratings simply by using the one through five on your keyboard when you've got an image selected, or you can use the options on the right-hand side. And it gives you your basic information about the file itself. You can export this in various different ways. So you can see you can export it as an Eagle Pack, which is the native kind of format. You can export to your computer, or you can export it with specific di dimensions and formats. So you can click, and you can change this from a JPEG to a web PNG, a bitmap, you know, all those kinds of options. So this isn't just an organization tool. You can also use this to convert formats and things like that in relevant different kinds of ways. It's not gonna be the most powerful for that, but you can do with your images if you wanted to. You've also got right-click options then, and you can see there's a ton more options inside here. So you can add it to folders, you can add it to other folders, you can export it, you can pin it, all manner of different things. And you can go ahead and delete it if you want to. Some of the things I really like, though, is if we go into, for example, my YouTube video thumbnails, if we come into the inspiration, you can see I've got a selection of different images inside here. Now, if I choose any of these images, so for example, I'll choose this one from This Is E, which is a channel you should check out if you like your tech. 
you can see it gives us the primary colors it's found inside that image. And then if I want to find other images that have a color similar to that, I can choose one of those colors. So for example, I may want this sort of gray color. I can click and I can say find similar colors. They will then go through the images in that library, or if you set it to all, all of the images in your library, and then find any images that it finds that color or very similar color in it. This is a great way if you want to group things together to have a similar color palette. But not just that, you can click on there and you can see we can copy that color in various different ways. You can copy it as RGB, you can copy it as hexadecimal values and so on. So when you find a color you like, you want to use it, you can grab that from there. So again, it's another simple little life-saving quality of life option that just makes things really, really cool. So that's your organizing, that's your finding and so on. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory how you use most of this. If you want to create folders, you can simply come over, you can click on the plus, and inside there you can see we create a folder. We'll just call this test. You can easily then reorganize that. So we might want to take that to be a primary folder. Well, we'll drop that up there. You want to change the icon, you can right click, say change icon, and we've got a range of different icons inside there. So we can choose a different icon. We can come in and set a different color. So we can set this to be red. So you can organize this however you want and just create subfolders inside there. You know, all those kinds of options. We can right click and we can say remove it. And there's a pile of keyboard shortcuts we can use as well. Now, one of the other things that makes this super powerful is the filtering options that we have. So again, let's come back to my inspiration. If we come up to the top, you can see we've got a range of different options. So things like tags, folders, shape, ratings, types, all manner of different things. And as your catalog grows, as your sort of whole resource grows, then you'll have more options inside here. You could even do things like search on URLs if you wanted to, a note you may have applied and so on. And if you come to the top, you can see we've got all these different options. You've got actions, so we can create custom actions. So if you wanted to run like a macro to do various different things, like rename an image, for example, or put it in a folder, tag it, those kinds of things, you can create your own custom actions to do that. So you could speed up your workflow exponentially. So there's a lot of really cool things about this, but that's great. But what about actually importing images? How do you grab things? Well, let me just quickly show you some of the browser options that we have once you install the various different extensions, which are available for Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Edge browsers. So most of the main browsers should be covered, unless we ask about things like Brave and stuff like that. They're all basically using the Chromium browser. So you should be able to install those Chrome apps without too much of a problem. So once you've opened up the website that you want, there's various different ways you could interact with it and use that to send information over into Eagle. Let me just show you a couple of the ways you can do it. If you come to the top, you can see we've got this new icon for our Chrome extension. Like I said, it's available for other browsers as well. So you can see we can do things like save the URL to Eagle. We can batch save, capture an area, capture visible, or capture a page. So if you want a full page, the entire thing, this will do it all for you. But let's take a quick look. Let's take a look at batch save. This is one of those things that I think is incredibly valuable. And I know other extensions do this, but the fact this is directly integrated into Eagle for the management side of things just makes it really, really useful and powerful. So if we say batch save, what this will do is this will look for all of the images on that web page. As you can see, there's all the images. And now all I need to do is select the ones that I want by clicking on them. Once I've done that, I can import those. You can see I can also go in, set width and height. If I want to grab all of them, what format I want, I can choose what folder they go into. So it's very quick and easy to organize. Now, if you're working with a client and they don't have access to all of their files, but they're all on the website, you don't really want to go through the hassle of downloading everything and then sorting through things. If you're recreating pages or you just want to grab certain things like, you know, logos and kind of things like that, this just makes the whole process super easy. And then you can organize that into the dedicated folder structure. You can, you can organize this to your heart's content. You can kind of see all the different things, why this would make it so powerful. Let's cancel out of that though. So let's just come back and say, I want to grab the entire page. So for this example, we'll say capture the page. You can see we've got keyboard shortcuts for this. So capture the page. This is then going to go through the page, take screenshots of this, combine it into one final result, and then dump that into Eagle for us. And we come back over into Eagle and we go into uncategorized because it hasn't been categorized yet. You'll see there's our screen. We can expand this out if you want to, so we can see what it looks like. So everything we want is there. We can now go ahead and add any notes we want to, any tags, and you'll see it automatically pre-fills out the URL. So if you're using this to grab inspirational websites and you kind of forget what website it is, well, the link is already saved automatically for you. Again, just one of those nice little quality of life things that just makes the process easy. 
Now, let's just say that you've seen something that you like on a page and you just want to grab that. Well, we can use options inside here as well. So we can say, let's just capture an area. We'll click and you can see now we can go ahead and say, I like the look of this hero section. Let's grab that, for example. We can let go and we'll say save. So you can see there is the hero section. And again, we've got all those options, including the link to the website itself that we grabbed these from. It is just really easy. Final option you've got there, though, is you may just want to grab what's on screen right now. So you can say, well, I like the look of this. I like those boxes, for example. Well, we can come up. We can open up the options again and we can say capture visible. There's our little pop, if you can hear it, and that's now been sent over to Eagle. You kind of get the picture where this is kind of coming from. If you want to work with videos, that's incredibly easy too. You can just come over to any video you want, come up to the toolbar again, open up our extension, say save the URL to Eagle, and we've now saved the link to that video, and we can preview that video directly inside Eagle. The other thing that's really cool is, as you can see on screen right now, it tells me, hang on a minute, this is already here. Have you already pulled this in before what do you want to do do you want to use the existing one do you want to import it or don't import it so there's a little bit of checking as well so you don't end up with lots and lots of duplicate junk inside your organization in eagle so hopefully what you can see is there's a lot of options and i've probably just scratched the surface of what you can do with this let's say don't import now there's an even easier way to work with this let's just say for example that i'm browsing on youtube and i find a thumbnail that i kind of like and i click to open that thumbnail up and all I need to do, and this is any image at all, we can simply click and drag. And we do, we get this new little pop-up that allows me to drag and drop this directly into my overall library. So it'll just dump it straight into the Eagle library. Or I can actually come into any of these folders and drop it inside there. So for example, I might say dashboard design. Click and there go. That's now been added into my Eagle library. As simple as that. You couldn't get much more straightforward. Really, really useful and intuitive. There's one final thing I want to show you, and that's the new option, which is community. Now, if we open this up, this now has a ton of options for things like UI design, graphics, illustrations, icons, all those kinds of things. And you can import them directly from the community once you've signed up into your library. And then you can use a lot of these because pretty much all of them, if I'm not mistaken, are royalty free. So you can use them. So, for example, you may want icons. We can click to open that up. It gives us information about the uh, the actual source of icons itself. It tells us copyright, non-commercial use. So we could use this for our own personal projects, but you know we can't use it commercially. So all those are front and center, so you can see exactly what's going on. You've also got the resources, you've got tools, contributors. There's information about all of these options available to you. You can have a look through all the different icons. And if you like them, you can download those into your Eagle library. That is literally just scratching the surface of what can be done with Eagle. One of my new favorite applications for working with design, for working with content. I can only see this getting better and better. And like I say, it's available for Mac and PC, so you're not limited. But this is one of my new tools that I absolutely love, making my life just a little bit easier. But as always, I would love your feedback on this. Do you use different tools? Have you used Eagle yourself? Would this make you consider using a tool like this? All the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.